This is the Regal Safe RS50 domestic alarm panel from 1991. There are two videos for you. This video gives you a quick rundown of the panel PCB and setting and unsetting. The next video goes through the complete programming of the panel, using bleeping noises to determine which mode or block you are programming. The customer had all the manuals, else programming this panel would have been absolutely impossible. The reason I'm here is the owner of the house had some painting and carpentry work done and now the PIRs don't have any power and they cannot set the system. I found a blown auxiliary fuse but fuses blow for a reason so I opened up all the PIRs and found this. Somehow paint managed to get into the PIR through a fixing hole presumably shorted out the reed relay which is on the other side. Now the paint is dry no short circuit and my amps test reading barely registered anything. But it was good to find a possible culprit. Right, so first I'm fixing the tamper fault. So we've got a tamper on this cable here. Right, so zone one, we have front door and hall PIR. Front door has a problem with it. Hall PIR is just gonna be um, zone one. Then we've got kitchen PIR and the other bits and pieces on there. Right, so I just need to do some work on the cable in here. Alright, hall PIR is that one. Let's just get rid of that completely a moment. The hall PIR using the good old colour code of green and white power. So green is positive, white is negative, then we've got yellow, blue as circuit, and red and black as tamper. So this red and black is a tamper. No resistors, this is a quite an old panel, this one. Right, so the whole PIR is just going to be zone one. So the strange thing about this panel is it goes tamper, circuit, tamper, circuit. So that's zone one, zone two, etc. down to the bottom here. Normally you have circuit first then tamper. But the way I found this out is, uh, it's on the lid. Shows you what's what. There we go. And also, while I've got a lid in my hand, there is a magnet up in that corner. And that magnet is the tamper switch. So it's a magnetic reed switch for the tamper, which is quite unusual. And there's the other end. There. Normally it's like a micro switch on the circuit board, but not in this case. Right, we're going to have to go through, I'm going to go through the programming of one of these because when I was testing I didn't want to put a lid back on and I thought that that button there was the tamper switch but it's actually the reboot button and it cleared the memory out with just one press so I've now got to reprogram it. Got the external sounder terminals, the power terminals We're using green and white for power on the system. Zone 1, a lot, uh, tamper, circuit Circuit 2, tamper, linked out, circuit 3, 4, tamper, circuit, and then circuit number 4, and that's it. So there's um, not really much on this circuit board regarding programming, because it's all done on the keypad, which I'm going to show you in a minute. One thing we do have to do is flick that into program mode, and don't touch that, because it will clear out the memory, which is what I've done wrong already. And the tamper switch is a read switch there. So it'd be a lot easier if it had an LCD screen going across here so you can see exactly which option you're in rather than relying on tones and LEDs to indicate that. But on the version above this you do get the LCD screen. But this panel was designed for domestics. Okay, right, so normal features our uh, set system is one, two, three, four. Sorry, four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. It's now asking if you want part set or full set. So we do full set. Now we are just using the whole PIR up in the corner there. So 
Try and get the LED to come on, there we go. So when the PIR detects motion, so we've got 30 seconds now. Okay, system set. So we should be outside now, but we are standing very still. The hall PIR is wired in with the door contact, although the door contact's currently disconnected. So if I move in the hallway, it will trigger zone one, which is the, the final exit zone. Here we go. Okay, entry tone, 30 seconds, four, three, two, one. So that's full set working. Uh, let's activate the alarm now. So four, three, two, one, full set. Activate the detector. Zone one, zone two, and zone five activated. To find the first one, you press reset. First zone to activate was zone two. Then you just set it as normal for next time. So part set code and then part get that reduced tone so you don't wake up everybody the landing detector is now isolated I'm not going to go up oh, let's check that again I'm downstairs in the morning all PIR triggers so that's working uh, so that's full set part set Alarm as well, now we change the code. So this is the user guide. Changing your customer, changing your access code, you need the boss code, which is default all the zeros, and then star two. So we go one, two, three, four, star two. And you type in a new number. Okay, I've now changed the code. Uh, what else we got in here? Changing duress code, we're not gonna use that. Changing your boss code, I'll just leave it all zeros. I believe we're done.